Hello there, this is Fahad here again. I hope you've enjoyed the, the previous videos of uh, SAC systems uh, detailing the applications available in the SAC systems um, desktop application and how it functions and the major features of the application. Now, we have also mentioned that we do have other types of applications, one of them being the, the web application and the mobile application as well. Now in this video, we'll go through the, the web application and some of the features available in web application. So as you know, there there is going to be a web server hosted with an IP address or a host name. So in this case, I have this IP address which takes me to the web page of the web application. I, I'm being asked for the username and the password, which I'll give it now. And I'm logged in as admin. Now I see a dashboard as soon as I log in, uh, which, uh, which I have for some approvals. So I have this number of purchase orders to be approved or reviewed sales orders quotations and fleet and also have some personal uh, information and being an employee of this organization I have applied leaves number of approved leaves rejected leaves basically the leave status for the month and I have uh, if I have a loan or something I do have information on that particular loan and the salary for the last month now when you go through the menu of the application you have the user maintenance menu where you can manage the users within the application so you can add or modify the users you can provide him different access rights or privileges and set levels for each privilege which ranges from zero to four zero being no access and four being the ultimate privilege and you can also copy and copy the user rights of one user to another using this this feature now some of the application forms available in the uh, in the web application as i told you there are there aren't many uh, transactions that you can do and uh, because web applications are always uh, limited to transactions but but then you do have a, a various amount of reports key reports which would be available and uh, for review or approvals for the management and some of the key transactions are available in the in the system like just loans and leaves for the HR. If you go to the other reports, you have key financial reports, uh, ledger reports, for inventory reports, you have closing stock, sales report, you have invoice reports, branch-wise sales, not configured, I guess, purchase reports, Production reports, reports pertaining to production, transfer reports, so what items are being transferred from warehouses or locations. Some of the MIS reports will include the cash flow report, cash flow statements, and some other key reports pending bills by customers, suppliers leave status now in approvals you have leave approvals loan approvals transaction approvals attendance sheet do not have right and synchronization reports now you have reports that that can be used whether you, your trend synchronization is working properly or appropriately now this is all about the web application now hope you've enjoyed the video thank you so much